In just a mo, I'll give you a brief explanation behind each answer, linking the vocabulary or contextual links between the text and the question. I'll be going through the answers quickly, so make sure your course book is open in front of you, and please stop and rewind the video as you need to, to take the time to find the vocabulary and contextual links that I'll be talking about. Ready? Then let's go. You can see that they've given you the answer to question number one, so let's shoot straight on to question number two, which is A. Emma wanted work to be more a challenge, as she, as she says, the job wasn't stretching me enough. The use of stretching in this case is, of course, idiomatic, not literal. That would be a bit strange after all. If something doesn't stretch you enough, it's because you don't find it much of a challenge. You find it quite easy. For question three, the answer is C. Jonathan decided to live abroad because it was too expensive. The idea of less expensive in question three can be found in C, two-thirds of the way down, with for far less. The context here is about money. For question four, the answer is D. Annie took a while to adapt to a new way of living. We're looking for vocab in the text that means the same as took a while and to adapt, which we can see in question four. And we can find this vocab in D. Adapt links to settle in, and took a while links to four months on. A new way of life can easily be gained from the context of D about moving to another country. For question five, the answer is B. Heather found the job by accident. We have to look for vocabulary which links to by accident, which we can find in B halfway down with to stumble across something, which means to find something by accident. For question six, the answer is E. Phil discovered unexpected things about the place. Where can we find a vocab link that refers to the text in question six, unexpected things? Well, it's in E with the text, lots of surprises. For question seven, the answer is A. Emma regularly travels long distances to do a specific job. This one is difficult to get as we have to match three different sets of vocabulary. Regularly, long distances and specific job. The answer here is A. Regularly is something that's communicated by the context. We can safely assume doctors regularly attend patients. Long distances can be understood through the word remote. If it's remote, the idea is that it's a long way away. And specific job refers to healing people and making them feel better. You might think that the answer should be B, but although B talks about long distances and arguably a specific job, nothing in the text communicates regularly. For question 8, the answer is D. Annie sacrificed career opportunities to live abroad. We've got to look for an answer which carries across the idea of sacrifice, that is, giving something up, which is mentioned in question 8. We can find this where it says, she was building a career which suggests that it, she was doing well, and then she had to give this up or sacrifice it to go and live in Argentina. For question 9, the answer is B. Heather appreciates the long holidays which, make, which the job makes possible. We can find this where, in B, it talks about taking time off to travel for months to be able to do her job, writing travel guides. For question 10, the answer is E. Phil lives in a very primitive environment. We're looking for something which means the same as primitive, that is basic or uncomplicated. And we can find it in E with, we have only the basic requirements for survival, which describes primitive pretty well, don't you think?